Hi, uh, my name is Schnucki Erdbeer and I had this idea yesterday um, about doom levels and doom mapping in special. And I posted my idea to Reddit and I used the term 2.5D and because it had to do something with doom being a little bit 2D and a little bit 3D in a way. And I wasn't aware that there was... I, I kind of was aware that there was a rage between people who who like to see Doom more as a 2D game and in another way more as a 3D game. So that was a discussion I, I sparked and I, I didn't intend this one to be the thing people should talk about because I, I had this idea and I, I want to show this idea and on the way I'll I just get a little bit on the on the 2.5D thing just to to yeah just to give my own stuff to the discussion that I started so yeah let's just do it what we have here is um, the first level of doom um, imported into blender um, I did this just because I I want to do some stuff to this level that is not possible in the doom engine but it could be B for future mods and maps in a way and I, I think nobody thought about it that way before. It, probably somebody did but I never heard about it. it. Didn't get any traction the idea. So um, yeah, um, for, for, for the people who ask how, how I did this, how I got the level into Blender, it's pretty easy. You just can use a GZ Builder, a GZ Doom Builder and open the map and just export it as an object file which you can import into Blender. So it's it's pretty simple thing. It's made in a, a, in seconds. So on, what we see now is, is a top-down view, an orthogonal top-down view on the map. So um, we get a first uh, glance about how, 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 how 2D it is in a way because uh, every Doom map has a perfect two-dimensional map because there are no rooms above rooms possible. But if I rotate it around like this, you can see there are definitely different heights for the rooms. So uh, definitely is three-dimensional in a way. Um, it's in, 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 uh, especially set in the way that every, every sector like this or, or, or those um, have a, a value for floor height and a value for, for ceiling height. Um, Along with them in the, in the map file, so um, so they they the, the the 3D renderer can make a 3D rendering of it. But they have also um, they they are not perfect. So uh, the most important thing is you can't do rooms over rooms. If if I just make a double of this, that wouldn't be possible to just have a room where it's another room down that. And you see, yeah, you have problems with it being not a 2D map, man. there's something behind the other thing though. I'm deleting that again. So, um, now let's go out of orthogonal view. So that's more of the view like we see it in Doom. And I go into the camera, so I, I'll, I'll be inside the level, like here. That's probably a place where we all stood before. And the thing I was thinking about is, uh, since there are limitations in a horizontal, horizontal way and very, very much less limitations in, 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 in uh, no, limitations in a vertical view and very less imitation, uh, uh, limitations in a horizontal, um, in the horizontal space of a Doom map. Um, um, why not rotate it around so we have another option and we have the limitations in, in, in the horizontal place. So I, I, I'll do that now. I'll just um, rotate the map around the y-axis by 90 degrees and we get that. So now we can't, we can have rooms over rooms, but we can't have rooms beside rooms. Um, the limitation is still there, it's just shifted to another place and it gives us the option to, to, yeah, to, to build new stuff, to get fresh doom levels in a way uh, that wasn't possible before, but giving us other problems of course. Um, I'll just go to the walk navigation so I can can just walk around. That wouldn't be probably possible because because there's no gravity in this walk thing. But I just position me to places. So if I remember think think you could 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 do that. That's just just a nice thing to have, and it would probably be not too hard to implement it in like Z Doom, because um, the math is done. It's just just about 
changing perspective. It's just some some vector transformations, probably. Um, yeah, there would be stuff to do with with items and 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 so on. Uh, of course, oh, well, I I don't even know. I think they also got a got a z height, so it could be possible to just place them in midair in a way, or just let them drop down to the new. Yeah, that it it wouldn't be completely easy, but it's definitely feasible, and it yeah, it would give if, if just the 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 do map format had an, had a new option of just like where the where the vertical axis is, or where the axes are, or you could even even rotate it like like. In, uh, let's not do it uh, like like that to be just just slightly rotated and but yeah that would probably not work for gameplay but um yeah you get the idea just I'm just curious about what what you people think about it and I think it could give something fresh to the doom modding and mapping community and that was what I intended and it really I, I for my part like the word 2.5 D but that's that's my cake I think it's 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 sitting somewhere in a way between uh, the 3D games that are, were started with Quake and 2D games that came before Doom. So it's it's a fair thing, and it definitely describes this. It's definitely I I I know what's meant by it, and so it's it's a practical term um, to just say yeah, it's a game like like Doom or Duke Nukem or like Dark Forces or Daggerfall or stuff like that. Okay, I'm starting to ramble here. Um, thank you for uh, listening to me and, and uh, watching the video. And just, um, yeah, uh, I just like to hear what you think about it. Um, bye, people.